Yeah, I was in here working late one night. It was right after the theater had opened, probably the first year we were here. Uh, might have been the show God's Favorite. I think that, that was the show that we opened the space with, and it might have been that show. Uh, at any rate, I was in here working on lighting late at night, and I had the lights off on the stage. I was over on the right-hand side of the stage, and for some reason, I just turned around and looked up toward the, the opening in the back. There's a doorway up there that goes to the light shack, we called it, where we keep, uh, keep lighting instruments and work on them and repair them. And I saw the silhouette of a woman. It was actually a shadowy silhouette of a woman uh, standing there. She was dressed in clothing that, as best I can describe it, would be from the, the silhouette would at least be from the 40s or 50s. She had a blouse and a long skirt, shoulder length hair, and uh, she was just standing there. I, I said something to her and she didn't respond or anything. So I went back, turned around or something. I lost eye contact front with it for a second. And when I looked back, she was gone. There's, there's something, like there's something, there's like something here. We just, it's not showing itself. You guys mm -hmm. There's something here. It's not showing itself, but I know there's something here. And I know I was the only one in the building. It was one or two o'clock in the morning. Um, nobody else here. And I walked up there and looked around, couldn't see anything or see anybody. And I've not seen her again since, but some of the students say they have, they've had experiences and they don't, their stories don't always match up with what I saw, but who knows, maybe there's more than one. About a month and a half, maybe two months ago, um, we were locking up after a capstone rehearsal and we were all kind of walking around in different areas and we saw the woman in white, um, who's like kind of known as our good spirit here, um, walking up in the APs, which is like up where the spot booth is and where all the lights hang. Um, and then not even like three minutes later, um, my assistant stage manager and I, because I was stage managing, um, we were making sure the set was off the stage from the capstone so we could prepare for work and hair rehearsal the next day. And we both kind of looked up and we saw a black figure in our spot loft. And as soon as we both looked up, it kind of just bolted. Like it looked like it ran from where it was standing to the door. And we both just kind of looked at each other and walked away and then came back and we were like, hey, did you see that? Cause I saw that. Remember they said they saw something up there? Yeah. yeah. They said it's up there. Oh, I don't feel good. <laughs> but we had the we had the blinds open, but it was it was a kind of rainy rainy evening. And it was already kind of dark, and I saw, I could have sworn I saw someone walk by the room, uh, but it was like, it was a completely white figure walk by the room. And I was like, that's weird. And there was a spot, like, I looked out the window again, and it was the same kind of silhouette, and there was like, I couldn't see rain falling in that area. We were um, both kind of not the only ones in the building. There were only like three or four of us left after Hurricane Irma hit because we had lost power. And RRD was like, go home, um, especially if you have power at home. And thankfully, my family had power. So um, we were kind of packing up our stuff, going between rooms. Um, she lived in the basement, and I lived on communal hall. And we had been in my room. And I was the only person on communal hall left. Like everybody else on our hall had left. And we were, we had kind of finished up my room and we were going out to go to her room. And I, we opened the door and she walked out and just kind of dead stopped and was staring at the end of the hall. And I, when I walked out, I was like, what are you doing? Like, why are you just standing there? And she went, look, and I turn and like over at the fire escape door, there was just a girl just kind of standing there facing the door.
All right, so we were actually filming for Paranormal Piedmont, I think it was last week, and we were all in the main stage and we were just looking at different shots and one of our friends, she had come along just to come along and see what we were doing. So we had told her some of these stories, but she's like, eh, you know, it's whatever. And she gets up in the shafters up, you know, above the spotlight booth, booth or whatever it's called. and. She turns and it's like a super dark space. She can't see anything, but she's like, okay, this is weird, I don't like this. So then she comes back down. The next day, I'm in communications law and I was like, where is she at? She doesn't miss class, so I call her. I was like, hey, like, where are you at? And she's like, I'm in the hospital. It's not coincidental at this point. I kind of thought something was going on because you know, she did kind of have that feeling, and then we just had the interview, and they had told us that one of the other theater people went to the hospital like three days after interacting with the man in black, so. Yo, 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 that's it. Yo, 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 y